Hello everyone and welcome to this Python automation testing series. This is our 13th tutorial and in this particular tutorial we will learn about identity operators. So let's begin. Identity operators are used to compare the memory locations of two objects. The operators are basically is and is not. So basically these operators are used to compare the memory locations of two objects. Memory location of two objects. So let me write it down for you here. So basically are used to compare the memory memory location of two objects and operators are basically is and the second one is is not so when we talk about is and is not here basically when we talk about is operator so basically it checks if two variables point to the same object in the memory so what it will do it will do it will check if two variables point to the same object in memory and when we talk about is not it will check if two variables point to different objects in memory so this is the difference between is and is not so when we talk about a syntax the syntax is very simple for example if i say a is b or i say a is not b okay so when we talk about like for example i say a is b so it will return true if a and b are the same object otherwise it will return false so basically it is a boolean so if i write this statement it will return true if a and b are the same objects otherwise it will return false and in this case if we are saying that a is not b this means that it will return true if a and b are different different objects otherwise it will return false otherwise it will return false okay so this is the concept of this identity operators now let's go to the pycharm and let's do some practical examples and see here okay so let me get one new file here and let me name it as identity operators so uh, we can perform identity operators with integers we can perform it on the list we can perform it on the strings so let's first see with the integers so if i say x if i say x equals to for example 10 and y equals to 10 and let me print x is y and similarly what i lose i'll print x is not y let's run this one and see what happens so in first case we are getting true and in the second case we are getting false why we are getting true because small integers are cached by the python okay and when we talk about a small integer so it's usually start from minus 5 to 256 and in second case we are getting false okay now let's take an example of the list here let me create two lists and both lists will contain same values and b is equals to again one comma two comma three and let me copy these lines of code paste it here and here I will say a is b and a is not 
B. Okay, and now let's run this one. So we are getting false here and true here. Because why we are getting false here? The reason is that because there are different objects in the memory. That's that's why we are getting false. And in the second case, we are getting true because these are two different ones. Okay, and now when we talk about a string, so let me create a string s1 is equals to hello and x2 is equals to again the same value here okay and print s1 is s2 and then s1 is not s2 now let's run this one and see so we're getting true we are saying that s1 is s2 because a strings are inert by the python that's why we are getting true here and in the second case we are saying that s1 is not s2 we are getting the false okay now when we talk about the integers, just like I just give you an example that some more integers typically between minus 5. So let me write out these things here. So basically, some more integers, some more integers means from minus 5 to 256. And these are, are cached and reused by the Python. Therefore, this is a reason x and y in my code right now refers to the same object in the memory. Right? So basically these are cached and reused by by the Python. And that, that is a reason in our example x and y are referring to the same object. So if they are same object it will return two as it will return false okay and when we talk about the list here because you might be wondering how this true and false are coming how we are getting to know so in case of list basically when we talk about lists here so lists are basically are mutable okay and different variables referring to the same list object are created as the same object so basically lists are mutable mutable means which can be changed okay so here different variables referring to the same list object so object is one to three basically that's why they are that's why they are treated as same object so that's why we are getting false here okay so basically here a and b are different objects with the same content so a is b returns false so when we talk about a is b it returns false because a and b are different objects with the same contents okay and when we talk about the strings here so python caches strings that are identical so therefore s1 and s2 point to the same object in the memory so what happens here is that what python do python caches strings means means that these s1 and s2 are identical and pointing to and that's that's the reason they are point, pointing to same object so that's why we are getting true a 
is B. So because uh, let me see what we used here S1 and S2. In this case, it returns 2 here. Okay, so th that's the reason we are getting true and false here. So let me summarize you these things again for you. So in Python, the identity operators are used to compare the memory location of two objects. The operators are is and is not. Is operator checks if two variables point to the same object in the memory, whereas is not operator checks if two variables points to a different object in the memory, right? So we can perform it on the integers, lists, strings. And that's how we can actually check either it's pointing to the same object in the memory or to the different object in the memory. So these are used for this purpose in the Python. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.